Hey there, Libra Scorpio Cusper. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So I'm doing a mini a mini uh, freestyle reading for you guys for your month of April. Yeah. Um, so if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. You'll figure it out eventually. And for those of you that know what's going on, you know what's coming. Yeah. Um, keep in mind, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. This is dated for April, but it doesn't have to absolutely resonate for April. Also, this is a general reading. So keep what, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes. Excellent. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. You have the Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and ultimately the Four of Swords. And it's interesting because the Four of Swords didn't actually come out, but I heard Spirit tell me to take it, so I did. And actually the Four of Swords is the first card of the overall energy for the Virgo Libra Cusper reading. So I, I've been saying this all along, but I'm starting to really see how the energies and the storylines are continuing <laughs> throughout the readings, but I'm really seeing it the strongest, not only during morning coffee, which is my daily reading that I do every day. If you're new to the channel, check it out. You might like it, but I'm seeing it more so, I'm seeing it a lot during morning coffee, have been seeing it a lot in morning coffee, but I'm seeing it a lot in the cusp readings. And this is the only sec only the second round of these readings that I've been doing since I like, you know, for the channel here. So it's really kind of cool. Um, so check that reading out if you like. Now, what I see happening, and this one is really interesting, Libra Scorpio Cusper, because either you are in a relationship with somebody right now, or you're redefining, and you're redefining the terms of that relationship, or you're redefining the way that you handle a relationships moving forward. Um, maybe like you're single and you're you're working on this right now, but there is a level of working towards a greater sense of reciprocity. Now, if you're already in a relationship with someone and you're dealing with this here, this is a super burdensome process. Okay, there are, there are a lot of kinks to iron out. There are a lot of different things to handle. There could be a lot of precedences that have been set over the course of your relationship up until this moment in time where you find yourselves redefining the terms that need to be unlearned, need to be reset. Um, in terms of reciprocity, six of pentacles, the balance between give and take, okay? There might be a lot of meditation that's needed in terms of this. I kind of feel like I might be channeling for some people that have for on this um, Libra Scorpio cusp that are fairly selfish. And I don't necessarily know if you would if they would be the one watching. So this might be for a cross watcher. But this individual here needs to meditate on what it means to be reciprocal, what it means to be in a loving, balanced, caring relationship. And ultimately, this uh, f this is so much bigger than just you, especially if you're the cross watcher or if you're the person that's on the other end that's a little more reciprocal, a little more balanced. You're not the big offender here. This is way more than just you. Okay, this this is a this is a bigger bigger thing with temperance here. There is a a bigger lesson that needs to be learned here. A, a bigger life lesson, a bigger archetypical ar ar archetypal lesson, uh, overarching lesson. There it is. You know what I mean? Like the high priestess. All right. Yeah, there is a much higher lesson involved in this. There is a much higher meaning involved there actually may be a lot more to this than you are aware of like if if this is if 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 this is like say stemming from a place of trauma you might be aware of some of the trauma or maybe you're not but even if you are aware of again some of the trauma i feel like there's more underneath the surface that you may not be aware of okay so you really got to keep that in mind as you're moving through this situation. All right, I'm going to give this one shuffle and then we're going to get straight into it. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libra Scorpio cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 
2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids, I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you. Let's see what we've got. One. For my Libra Scorpio Cuspers. Two. Three. Four. And five skis. Right, let's cut the deck here. Boop. Okay, overall energy. We've got, oh, the Emperor. Mas I'm hearing masculine and controlling energy. This actually might be an individual that's really, really selfish. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this Emperor energy here. Underneath, oh yeah, and thus someone is walking away from them. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is, this is an overly controlling and selfish individual. This feels like the Emperor in reverse. Now, I don't have any reversals in my deck right now. I don't read reversals like this. If I, if I read a reversal, it's a free pull, and it falls out and flips upside down. All right, here I keep them upright. All right. Someone is walking away from a really controlling individual or maybe a sense of control, control issues, potentially. And I, as I was kind of channeling and kind of like shuffling the cards for you guys, I was picking up that you actually could someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. In terms of this. I don't know why I was picking up on that. that. There's something about this that's like, maybe there's, maybe you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpios can be pretty controlling sometimes. But also, this is a Libra Scorpio reading, so maybe this is a, this is like a, a, a cross, again, this could very well be for the cross watcher, mainly. Because I doubt anyone that this, con that this, that is this controlling and or potentially narcissistic is going to be watching anything like this, right? Because they don't need to work on themselves. They're perfect as they are. Uh-huh. <laughs> Underneath the Eight of Cups, you yeah, look at that. You got the Five of Cups. Um, and I I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I'm not so sure this five or this emperor. Mm. Okay, let me finish my statement first. I don't think the individual that you're walking away from is too concerned or is too much in this Five of Cups energy. I don't. If you are, in fact, walking away from someone, because ultimately, or, or, or I'm sorry, potentially this could very well be someone is move, walking away from some sort of controlling narcissistic tendency, right? Leaving that past behind in service of greater reciprocity. So, I, but, but here's the thing. Whether you're walking away from someone or you're walking away from a personal tendency, I'm feeling like the person that is walking away is the one that's in this Five of Cups energy. All right? Now, you, this Emperor energy could be you in terms of taking your power back, being in control, and moving forward uh, with just right action, uh, moving forward with some sort of discipline in mind. Sure, okay, that's great. And so that could be you walking away from tendencies that are not reciprocal and balanced, okay? And if that is you, then this Five of Cups energy, this remorse is you feeling regret, shame, remorse, whatnot, whatever, for your actions in the past. So allow yourself this grieving period. But keep in mind, remember, all is not lost because you still have those two cups back there, right? Okay, that's good. Now, others of you are walking away from a very controlling, narcissistic individual, and I, I, I promise you, honey, they are so wrapped up in, them, up in themselves, they don't even, they probably don't even notice that you're walking away. And they're not going to notice until it is way too late. But even at that point, I don't feel like they're going to care. Because they're probably pretty confident that they're going to find someone else to replace you. But don't let your ego get butt hurt by that because you walked away from this for a reason. 
So anybody that they are, quote, replacing you with is just the same bullshit. And that person is going to have to learn this lesson like you just did. So don't feel bad. Maybe feel for the next victim. Okay, all right. You you know you got a common ground there. You kind of you guys kind of understand your understand each other. You have you know what I mean? Because you both dealt with this person and you both had to learn this lesson. Okay. But don't worry about it. Okay? Ultimately, you made the right choice if you are walking away from someone like this. Under oof. Wow, five of pentacles is underneath that. Yikes. Look, this person or this energy, God, I did not see this going this way. Like this, ugh, it's like this energy or this person really like tore you down or left you feeling worthless. Or maybe you were the one doing this to other people. Now, here is that rare case in which I do feel like this actually could be the person that's watching. Because ultimately, what I'm picking up on now, if this is personal ten if these, excuse me, if these are personal tendencies that you are walking away from, that you are leaving behind you, then you potentially would be watching this because you're in a bit of a self-improvement mentality. Okay? So that makes perfect sense. Now I'm also picking up with this five of pentacles here. This is a lack of self-belief, um, a lack of worthiness, a sense of inadequacy that would drive someone to be so controlling, to be so narcissistic, to, you, because that it's a defense mechanism at that point. You know what I mean? But what I'm getting with this is as you are taking your power back, as you are taking control, as you are taking responsibility for yourself, you're starting to recognize all of this. So it's almost as if the purging pro a purging process is happening. Maybe I shouldn't say almost as if. It could very well be <laughs> there's a purging process that's happening for you as you are releasing this negative tendency or as you are removing this toxic situation from your life. All right, let's get into the first half of your surrounding energies here. You got the Eight of Wands. Communication, there may be clear and concise, direct and to the point communication, okay? But also I'm feeling the air is open and clear. There are no obstacles in your way. In terms of moving forward here, Ace of, eight of, excuse me, eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. Uh, the, clear, the, the way is clear and open. The obstacles that may have been standing in your way in the past are no longer in your way. Okay. The Eight of Wands is coupled with and Two of Pentacles. Okay. Um, this could be a quick... I, I'm not going to lie. This could be a really quick process in um, generating some sort of balance here. Now, also, it also could be that there are no obstacles in your way or there's nothing blocking your path or the, the, the way is clear and open or at least the, 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 the trajectory, the way, the way you want to go is like clear in sight. You, got, you, can, you, can, you can keep your eye on that bullseye, on that prize because, because of the fact that you brought greater balance, two of pentacles in your life, into your life. And that greater balance has a lot to do with accountability. Holding yourself accountable for things, holding yourself, uh, uh, taking responsibility for whatever it is you need to take responsibility for, you know, you have the power to do that. And it really does look like you have, in fact, take, you are using that power to your advantage. The emperor, you're taking your power back. You're, you're owning up, you're owning yourself. You're being responsible. Okay. Second set of surrounding, but 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 before I say that, I mean, that is that really is what's clearing the space. That could have been what was standing in your way all along. Not taking responsibility for your actions, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, Scorpio, Cusper. You got. Oh damn, the Hermit. Yeah. Okay. Now, second of all, I mean, first of all, fucking right, the Hermit. Taking responsibility, looking at yourself, shining a light on your own self, your own tendencies. Beautiful. But number two, this card came out for the uh, Virgo Libra Cusper. So you might want to check that video out too, okay? 
The Hermit is coupled with the Three of Cups, Self-Union. Beautiful. I feel like either you or this person that you're cross-watching for was a fragmented individual. Highly, highly, heavily fragmented. Personality-wise, spiritually, energetically. And so, of course, that would create all kinds of extreme defense mechanisms like narcissism and, and control issues, you know? For sure, it makes perfect sense to me. Perfect sense. Your challenge. The fool, okay, well, taking a leap of faith, turning over a new leaf, actually putting this cognitive process you've been, you've been developing in your head about, you know, what it is you want to do or how it is you want to change, actually following through with that now. It's one thing to like psych 555 five, five on the counter. It's one thing to psych yourself up about it mentally. It's another thing to actually take physical action. And that's what you're challenged with right now. I feel like many of you are at that point in this process where you can now take that leap uh, of faith. Okay. It's like you're ready to jump. You're ready to fly. You're ready to soar. You're ready to do the damn thing, you know? The fool is coupled with... Oh, the King of Wands. You sure as shit are ready, aren't you? And this really could have been something you've been working on for a good amount of time. Because the King of Wands is not only an individual that is very focused, knows what he wants, charismatic, self-belief, out the wazoo. Ain't nothing gonna stop him. But he's also an energy of waiting for the right time to strike. Like... He's not going to waste his efforts in, in striking and missing. No, he's not trying to miss. Okay? Homie is going to hit his target, whether y'all like it or not, right? So he's waiting, for, he is waiting for the right time to strike. And I feel like this has been you building up the confidence, building up the strength, building up the understanding, even building up the wherewithal for you to take the leap. Now, conversely, on the other side, the challenge could be needing to build all up, build up this energy, this momentum, this self-belief, the wherewithal, blah, 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 so you can make that leap. Others of you are, you are at the point right now where you actually can, it, you're ready to, it's time to take that leap. And your next challenge is to actually follow through with it, right? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome here you have. Oh, damn! The Queen of Wands! Hey, hunty! Look at that. There are the counterparts. Now, what I'm getting with the Queen of Wands here is your outcome, closing message or potential outcome is you're going to get what it is you have been working on attracting. So if this is a reciprocal relationship, a balanced, harmonious relationship, here it comes. If this is a different state of being, a different mindset, here it comes. Queen of Wands is coupled with... Yes! Oh my God, the Six of Pentacles. Here it comes. Coming back full circle. This is what you wanted. This is what you've asked for. This is what you're aligning with. Take that leap of faith, honey. Okay? Oh God, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, I love that. All right, let's get your closing message here. Um, your oracle guidance. Just some closing oracle messages for you from the unicorns. Yales. Yales. <laughs> oh boy. You know, I crack myself up sometimes. It's really quite awesome. All right. Closing message here, please, spirit, for my Virgo. No, I'm so sorry. For my Libra Scorpio cuspers. Here we go. Libra Scorpio. Closing message, please. Oracle guidance for my Libra Scorpio customers here. That's enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Good. Two really good cards for you. Um, action and intention. At the bottom of the deck, you have support. So ask for help. Give, uh, get more rest. Nurture yourself. But I really want you to know, or spirit really is, there's a strong message here. You are supported by the universe by the angels, by your, by the ascended masters, by your ancestors, by your spirit guides, by your spirit team, your spirit, you are supported. You have the support you need. You just have to ask for it. Okay. 
And don't be afraid to ask for it. It's the Scorpio side of the spectrum that's kind of saying to me, I don't know, I'm not trying to ask for no help. It's like, honey, can you just like shut up and ask for help, please? <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway, you have intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe. But this, I feel like, is an energy you have already been cultivating with this emperor energy here, okay? And then I'll, uh, finally, you have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take an inspired action towards your dreams. Hello, move forward with confidence. That's literally everything that is in the Fool and the King of Wands as your challenge right now. Okay, so uh, boop -boop -boop -boop. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, potentially for the month of, most likely, for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.